Hello and good morning. Welcome back to another Saturday Psalm Things with Mots. We're drinking wine at nine and we love that. Just a reminder before I get into our beautiful tasting today, we are having an October Fest and pumpkin beer tasting today at the wine desk with Alex from three to four o'clock. As always, it's free, just bring your ID. Okay, today it's all about a summer swan song because it's still hot and summery and these are the perfect wines to enjoy. And if you have any questions, feel free to pipe in, ask, do it directly, do it online, do it right now. Today I have a returning guest that is Andrew Cameron Walter, who works with Southern Glacier. And these are four of his wines from his amazing portfolio. So welcome back to the table, Andrew. Thanks for having me, Mots. Yeah. So today, got some really fun, bright, energetic wines. That, yes. That would be perfect for these last few days of, of Indian summertime. summer. I yeah. like that. Indian summer. So we're going to start out with the Terlato Pinot Grigio from Friuli. So that's going to be in the northeast corner of Italy. So nice yep. and cool, really known for absolute top-notch Pinot Grigio. It, it's gorgeous. I love the nose already. And this Ooh. is a good Pinot Grigio because some of them are five, six, seven, ninety-nine, and they taste like it, but not this. It has body depth. Absolutely. Lychee and lemon. Mm, beautiful. Yep. A little bit of peach on there as well. Yep. Um, what I love about this is it even sees a little bit of lee contact. So, okay. Uh, gives it a little bit of toastiness and depth as well. Um, but still really, really bright. Um, it is. Nice, yeah. nice acid. It's <sighs> crisp, dry, inviting. Yes. And you could even put this over shaved ice with a squeeze of lime. Absolutely. A little summer cocktail. Mm -hmm. Maybe make a spritz out of it, mm -hmm. a little soda water. Mm. Yeah, this is this is lovely. It goes with plenty of foods. The acidity is there, but it's right. not overwhelming. But yeah. you can also drink this on its own. Absolutely, I like it because it is so affordable. As always, Miss Sheila has these on sale already, and it's just a nice summer sipper. In all honesty, absolutely. But I'm really excited about wine number two. Yes. Oh, one of my favorite wines on the planet because Vermentino needs to be rediscovered. A lot of people wow. bypass it and they shouldn't because to me it's it's sunshine in a glass. Absolutely. So good. Are you a Sauv Blanc drinker? I am. You would love Vermentino. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. So, and I do. Yeah, this is wow. a lot of Vermentinos you're going to find are going to be from Sardinia, but this one's actually from Bulgari, so the okay. Tuscan coast. Yeah, Antonori. Yep. So this property was actually gifted to um, the Antonoris through a wedding. Um, a this one gentleman had two daughters. Half of the property became Tenuta Guadalotaso, and the other half became Tenuta San Tenuta Sanguido, which is known for Sasakaya. Right. Um, so this produces really big, bold, powerful reds, but this white is right there on the coast with some nice sandy soils for good drainage. It is so beautifully balanced. Yeah. Not only do you get some kiwi and white peach blossoms, but you get tangerine, a little pomelo, a little mm. essence yeah, of lemon lemon meringue mm -hmm. but it's not cloying it's just so refreshing absolutely i just i love vermentinos just absolutely singing mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and you could pair this with pork chops in an apple or an apricot sauce mm -hmm. you could pair this with a, a pork charcuterie yeah i like that pork tenderloin the yeah. obvious we love our oysters but even think outside the box a flank steak or a skirt steak, slice it nicely and put it on a salad. Yeah. It's still solid weather. Yep. I also love this with like oysters or scallops yes. or anything like that. Oh, well. with extra butter mm -hmm. and capers. Absolutely. I'm getting hungry. Yes. So this is just the Vermentino. Please come and buy this. It's just so good. It's the best wine you've never had. Oh, I like that. Wine number three is amazing this one's really fun so this is 
Entourage Rosé. Uh, we say born in, in Saint-Tropez. Saint-Tropez, raised in Aspen. So the owner of the Cloud Nine restaurant yep. in Aspen Highlands, which is a basically a ski and ski out club, oh, um, decided that he wanted to have his own own rosé. So started working with uh, growers and winemakers in in Provence and came up with this gorgeous, yes, gorgeous. Wine. It is beautiful. And just FYI, I know the brand ambassadors personally. I've known them for years. Trisha Mel, shout out to you. And we'll be doing a commercial with this wine in December. So look for that because we consider it a winter rosé and you'll find out why. But wow, I have, yeah. I have goosebumps. It's that good. I mean, the strawberries just mm. jump out of the glass on this one. Strawberries, pomegranates. Yeah. The essence of golden raspberries mm -hmm. and it's nicely dry and very affordable this is just beautiful what what grapes make this up so this is uh Cinso and Grenache okay and so the, those are going to be just a lot of structure and a lot of fruit yes and because these wines are or these grapes are so perfect for rosé they don't need to blend in a more acidic right. white it already pops yes it does it's, it's really dry and it's just so good I would I would pair this with not only fried chicken, which is one of my favorites, but a nice watermelon mint salad. Yep. Something that is chicken chicken Kiev, for example. He stole my pairing. Mm. Mm -hmm. yeah. No, this is it's beautiful. This is great. This is rose to enjoy with friends. And yes. It's just just dynamite. Ah, which brings us to the last dynamite Pinot Noir. And I did put a slight chill on this mm -hmm. before we opened it because you can do that mm -hmm. with Pinot Noirs. It brings out the essence, the fruit, the the aromas. Absolutely. Wild blackberries and black walnuts. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Some, some really nice like cherry, little dark cherry sure. in there as well. And so this is from? This is from Masan L'Envoyi. This is called Two Messengers. So Masan L'Envoyi is actually a a producer in France from Beaujolais, and they are going to make this in a more Beaujolais style. Okay. So they're going to do whole cluster, and what that does is it allows for the berries to just express a lot more ripeness yes. and juiciness, yeah. and just just explode right. out of the glass. It's and not it's not sweet. Don't get us wrong. It's dry and mm -hmm. it has finesse and elegance. And I give so much credit to. Felipe Ramirez, who is the winemaker for this, and he's just such a genius. Coming from Willamette in Oregon, this is a nice Pinot to rediscover. Absolutely. It's so good. And you would pair this with what? I would pair this with salmon, with pork, mm. Mm. with a nice about any bourbon glazed mm. salmon. Or you could pour this that much into a little pot, reduce, 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 have a nice reduction, then put that over mm -hmm. the salmon, make a Pinot Noir glazed salmon. Yeah, um, but any pork chops. Yeah. Um, this could even go up with, with some steaks. Maybe, sure. Maybe something with a little more marbleization because so, it has a good amount yeah. of acid in it. I like that, a ribeye, a porterhouse. Mm -hmm. Yep. We're getting hungry again. Indeed. <laughs> so, uh, Andrew, this has been a beautiful discovery of wines and I hope everybody comes to visit the Argonaut because these are going to be so tasty and so special. So I appreciate you coming back to the table and everybody come on down for the Oktoberfest beer tasting today at three o'clock and thank you again. Cheers. Thanks for having me. Because we make these videos for you. So we hope to see you soon. <laughs>